show on the air about rednecks man I am your host my name is Cletus so welcome kinfolk from the farmsteads allow me to introduce my broadcasting partner man not only is he my partner man he also my brother and my cousin man Billy Bob hey man don't forget I'm also your pa oh yeah yeah nice to meet you again pa man I haven't seen you like I, man I can't even count how long it's been Man, I just learned to count, like, last week, man, I think it'd be five minutes ago I saw you. Let's talk about what we's gonna talk about today on the radio. And by the way, I don't actually know what radio is. Do you have any clue? Man, well, I have a number of theaters. Do you have any? Man, I do. And let me tell you one of them really quick. I was told today if I wanted to do this radio show by a man. He said, come into my shed and twill about with some nubs. And I did, and I felt really dirty, but that's another story. And then I started the radio show. And he said, speak into a microphone and the world will hear you. And the only way I can figure that working is I speak into this magic stick, man. It goes into a little box. In the box is a monkey from Venezuela. The monkey writes every word that I say on a piece of paper, gives it to one of them flying chickens, you know, like from France, they call them pigeons. And the flying chicken, it flies to everybody's houses and lets them read a bit of paper. And that's how they hear every word I'm saying, man. Otherwise, I just don't get it. Man, you lost me a microphone. Anyway, what are we going to talk about in this show? Let's do a quick rundown of the segments in this brand new, super stereotypical and insulted redneck radio show. First of all, we have news from all over the international market. And by that, we just mean Kentucky because it's the only place that matters, dude. We also got a sit-down session with Hillbillies. And by that, I mean special studio guests of the musical variety. That will be the Louisville Jug Band. I know, Billy Bob, you're excited about hearing them. Man, I know, man, they've like, you know, sold like 10,000 last week. Yeah, Since man. their debut. We're the first ever ones to play them live on a radio show. That's true, man. They gave me a CD. Even though I don't have a CD player, I played it in my gramophone, which also doubles as a chicken, and it got scratched, man, but I didn't actually hear it. But today, they play it live, so we get to hear their songs. Anyway, we also have an interview with a very special guest, and I would tell you who is with, man, but to be honest, I don't even know myself, man. We'll have to figure out when it happens. And to wrap everything off today, like a chicken in bread crumbs, we are going to teach you Pitchfork Care 101. That is the basics of how to take care of your pitchfork. So without any further ado, let's get straight into international global super news. Man, tell me some super news. Dig this, Billy Bob. KFC recently unveiled news that they are downgrading from steel buckets to cardboard buckets. Man, that ain't super news. That ain't Superman, that's fucking tragedy. They are only doing it to join in the rest of the world. Yep. Man, okay, continue with the so-called super news. I have another piece of news for you. And this is the biggest piece of news we've ever had to report here. And we've only been reporting for about 20 seconds. A pig has escaped from Uncle Jebediah's farm. Man, I know this is all entertainment, but that's left me speechless. Man. There ain't nothing entertaining about that. I mean, I mean, you got September 11th, man, but... Dang! <laughs> you know, it pales in comparison. It really does. <laughs> well, that is big news. Uh, also, taxes on dungarees and straw hats has gone up by 3%. Man, you got any good super news? No. <laughs> Last piece of news is David Copperfield who is a magician, has announced that for his next trick, he will make the entire state of Kentucky disappear. 
Next of all, we're gonna head on to our next session. This is now the one you've been waiting for, Billy Bob. The Hillbilly Sit Down Sessions with the Louisville Joe Band. Man, come with me, man. Yeah! I'm not willing to spend any more time on that song. Fucking joke, Ben. Okay, it's now time for the special interview. I can now remember who the interview's with. My name is Hill. But it's not Janitor. No, it ain't Janitor. It's Colonel Sanders. Oh, shit. That's right. Man, man, but isn't he kind of handicapped, you know, being like... dead? Man, yeah, but this is his zombie. It is the zombie of Colonel Sanders, who is the patron saint of chicken. Colonel Sanders, thank you for coming into the show. Man, what the hell? Have you got a pickle in your throat, boy? Man, you look diseased. Mr. Sanders, you plan to run for president in 2039, regardless of whether or not it's an election year. Tell us about that. Man, he just fell on the floor. Man, okay. Does that mean he probably dead now? Man, let me just check with the chainsaw. Man, you poke him with a stick and uh, we'll go straight to a commercial break. Man, break down. We'll be right back, folks. Rubber Roadkill with a pulley in the middle. Now available for all your household needs. Available at Pig Locker today. And now, man, it is time for the final segment of Kentucky Fried Airwaves. It is time for Billy Bob to teach y'all at home Pitchfork Care 101. Man, when you got your pitchfork, make sure you always put KY jelly on, not the first blade, but the second blade, because it keeps it lubricated and good. But man, of course, you have to make sure you do not always have your PNF license when you have your Kentucky Bear, or you could get sued by the government. But man, most importantly though, you do not keep your pitchfork out in the rain, which reminds me, I left mine outside. Man, I'll go get it for you. Be back in a second, man. Wait, wait, he's just coming back, fans, so... Here is your pitchfork. Cheers, man, and when you got... Oh, shit. Man, you got and dropped it. You teach us about pitchfork care. What the hell you got and done? Now, the fact that this radio show was so abysmal, we know we ain't gonna be back to hold another one, so I can't see we'll see you next time. But, man, I think we're in a lot of trouble because this radio show went nowhere. <laughs> we will not be back next week, so, uh... Count your blessings, kid folk, and uh, well, we might see you at the dole office. <laughs>